everyone, welcome into One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be doing another set guide and review, and this time it is for the brand new, never before released 2022 Topps Cosmic Chrome. But is the set maybe a little bit too far out there? What are the key cards we're going to be chasing? Is this a set you should buy into or one that you should stand by on? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that is is with the One Cent Sports Cards 2022 Topps Cosmic Chrome Set Guide and Review. Let's jump right in. So we have the brand new, never before released 2022 Topps Cosmic Chrome set dropping tomorrow. And in this set guide and review, we're going to find out how good the set really is by using the exclusive one cent sensational set rating, which is the most in-depth set guide and review you're going to find anywhere on the internet. Here's the things we're going to cover off on. First, we'll cover off on the set highlights, tell you what the set has to offer in general, tell you the different buying formats, tell you what the key cards we're going to be chasing are cover off on all the parallels, the inserts, and the autos, and I'll even give you six teams that I think would be pretty good teams to target in breaks. And if you want to know how good all 30 teams are for a break, I'm even going to give you a break team cheat sheet. And that's what brings us to the one cent sensational set rating where we find out how good 2022 Topps Chrome really is. And then we'll even stack it up with all the other sets that have been released so far in the 2022 card collecting season to see where it ranks amongst all of those. But before we begin, I got one more thing. Be sure to throw over to first and hit that like button. It's a great way to support the channel. And if you like these set guides and reviews, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you want to see them first, you got to hit the bell notification so you know as soon as I drop them live. And finally, if you haven't checked out my patreon page i invite you to do so that's where you get into my breaks that's where you get discord community access that's where you get monthly packs you get psa submissions at no additional charge and so much more there is a link in the video description below to check that out and i invite you to do so but for now let's jump into the 2022 tops cosmic chrome set guide and review First thing you need to know, it is a brand new chrome set with the distinct out of this world design. It is the debut year of the set. It has never been released before, and it has a 200 card base set checklist. The base set features rookies and veteran MLB stars, so you're not going to find any prospects, and it is only available in hobby format. The design, a very bold galactic design kind of in the tops fire and maybe the tops finest kind of realm that you may be used to. You do get one nucleus refractor per hobby box and there is an eight color base set parallel rainbow. There is a case hit this year. It is called Youth Invasion and there is also a super short print insert called Supernova that is gonna be limited to 100 copies. There are three auto subsets called Cosmic Chrome, Stargaze, and Launched Into Orbit. There are only four autographs per case, so there's not a guaranteed autograph in every hobby box. They're going to land in about one per three hobby boxes. There are also three other inserts, Launched Into Orbit, Stargazing, and Rocket Arms. Finally, most of the big 2022 rookies are featured in the set, but there are some notable exceptions, which we'll cover off on in a little bit. So what are the different buying formats you can get Cosmic Chrome in? Well, you can start with the hobby case. That's going to have 12 boxes in the case, 20 packs per box, four cards per pack. It's going to give you 960 total cards, and the current online price is about $2,950. So that gives you a cost per card of about $3.07. You're guaranteed to get four autos, 12 nucleus refractors, 36 additional refractors, and the case hit, the Youth Invasion insert. If you get a hobby box only, you're going to get 20 packs per box, four cards per pack. 
So 80 total cards cost you about 250 bucks online right now. So your cost per card comes up to $3.12. You get that one Nucleus Refractor and three additional Refractors guaranteed. So what are the key cards we're going to be chasing? Well, we'll start with our rookies. We've got Wander Franco, Bryson Stott, Spencer Torkelson, Jeremy Pena, Mackenzie Gore, Seiya Suzuki, Royce Lewis, Alec Thomas, C.J. Abrams, Stephen Kwan, O'Neal Cruz, Bobby Witt Jr., Hunter Green, and of course, Julio Rodriguez. So a lot of the big names that people have been looking for in the later sets that have been released, but we do have some notable exceptions. I think Spencer Strider's not in the checklist. You're not going to find Josh Lowe in the checklist. So a couple names among some others that are missing off of this checklist, partially due to the fact that it has a 200 card base set checklist. For our parallels, autos, and inserts, here's what we'll be looking for. Obviously, the parallel rookie cards are going to hold value. You've got that case hit, the youth invasion. You can see what the Julio Rodriguez looks like there on the right. You've got the launched into orbit inserts, the rocket arm inserts, and that supernova super short print inserts. Those are limited to 100 each. Then for our autos, there's the cosmic chrome auto. That's going to be the standard auto that you find, but they're a pretty tough find one out of three hobby boxes. And then you've also got a launched into orbit auto variation and the stargazing autos as well. For our base parallels, well, we only have an eight color rainbow, which for a chrome set is pretty small. But here's what we got. We got refractors, which land one in 10. We've got nucleus refractors, which land one in 20 packs. So you get one per hobby box. And then you've got the numbered ones, the blue moon refractor numbered to 99, the gold interstellar refractor numbered to 50, the orange galactic refractor numbered to 25, a black eclipse refractor numbered to 10, a red flare refractor numbered to 5, and a super refractor one of one. So you can see the galactic theme comes out in the parallels that are offered in 2022 Topps Cosmic Chrome. So as you see these refractors, they're just going to be really bold, out of this world, very cool theme that they've gone with with Cosmic Chrome. For our inserts, we'll start with Launched Into Orbit. There's going to be 20 cards in the subset. They land 1 in 10 packs. The parallel breakdown on those, Black Eclipse, Red Flare, and Super Fractor 1 of 1. We also have the Rocket Arms, only 10 cards in the subset. They land 1 in 5 packs. And then you've got Black Eclipse, Red Flare, and Super Fractor Parallel Rainbow again. And then the Stargazing, 25 cards in that set land one in four packs, going to be your most common insert that you find. And the Parallel Rainbow expands out to a Gold Interstellar, Orange Galactic, Black Eclipse, Red Flare, and Super Fractor Rainbow. Then you've got that Supernova, which is that super short print chase card they're all limited to 100 copies but they will not be numbered but they do have a parallel rainbow as well of black eclipse number to 10 a red flare to five and a super fractor one of one finally we have the case hit the youth invasion 15 cards in the subset and you can get a parallel rainbow of red flare to five and a super fractor one of one for our autographs we start with the Cosmic Chrome Autographs. This is going to be the standard one that you find, 38 cards in the subset, and a parallel breakdown of Orange Galactic, Black Eclipse, Red Flare, and Super Fractor. Then we have the Launched Into Orbit Autos, only 10 cards in the subset. There are no parallels for that one. And the Stargazing Autos, there's going to be 11 cards in that subset, and the parallel breakdown goes Orange Galactic, Black Eclipse, Red Flare, and Super Factor. Those are the only autos that you can get out of this set. So as you can see, it is a very tight set, only 200 cards. We've got this SP insert chases, and we've got a few autos that we're going to be chasing. So the question becomes, what team should you be looking for in breaks? Well, like I said, I'm going to give you six. And I think that the best team is the Tampa Bay Rays. And here's why I could have picked the Seattle Mariners. I could have picked Detroit. There's a, with a lot of these, you know, the newer rookies that came out later in the season, but 
The Tampa Bay Rays have six base cards, four rookie cards, four inserts, and four autos. So they've got quite a bit of content. And Wander Franco, who is one of the big rookie chases, he's got two different autos in the subset. Whereas like Julio Rodriguez only has one. Spencer Torkelson only has one. You also have Vidal Brujan autos in here. And Wander Franco also has two of those chase inserts. So I think with the amount of content that they have, plus the big rookie chase with Wander Franco in here, I'm going to make them my best team. Do I think they're going to be the most expensive? Maybe not. They should be pretty expensive, but I don't think they're going to be as expensive as, say, Julio Rodriguez and the Seattle Mariners will be. So I think in a pick your team break, I think you've got some good value, even though it's going to be expensive in the Tampa Bay Rays. If you get them in a random team break, hold them. You don't need to trade them. If you're looking for the most autos, go look at the St. Louis Cardinals. Kind of a surprise here. They've got a ton of content. They've got eight base cards, two rookie cards, four inserts, and six different autos. You've got Albert Pujols, Dylan Carlson, Paul Goldschmidt. Mark McGuire has two different autos you can get in here. There's also a Nolan Arenado Supernova short print chase. So the Cardinals, a very good team, almost a sleeper team. Surprised that they have this many autos and some very nice names on that auto checklist as well. So if you can get them in a pick your team break, they probably will be one of the top five most expensive teams. But I think there's a lot of value here. Not a lot of the big names for rookies, but if you're looking for autos, the Cardinals are going to be the way to go. Maybe a team you can even trade for in a random team break to an unsuspecting trade partner. So keep a lookout for that. If you get them in a random team break, just go ahead and hold them. You probably got a pretty good chance of getting yourself an auto, especially in a case break or something like that. If you're looking for the most rookie cards. Well, there's a lot of teams. There's five total that have four different rookie cards, but we'll cover off on the Kansas City Royals. They've got eight base cards, four rookie cards, three inserts, and two autos. Who are you chasing in this? Well, it's obvious. It's the Bobby Witt Jr. You can also get a Salvador Perez auto in there, but Witt also has a Supernova insert chase card that you can get in there. So the Kansas City Royals probably going to be, again, maybe one of the top five most expensive teams in a pick your team break. But if you can get them for the right price, I think you're not doing too bad with the Kansas City Royals if you believe in Bobby Witt Jr. Some people are high on him. Some people aren't because of his defense. I totally understand, but if you're a believer, Kansas City Royals, not a bad team to buy into in a pick your team break for this. On top of that, if you get them in a random team break, again, go ahead and keep them. You've got one of the teams with one of the big rookie chases, so just stand pat. Don't trade them away. If you're looking for a solid choice, as has been the case throughout 2022, go look at the Angels. They've got a ton of content, eight base cards, two rookie cards, six inserts, and three autos. All of the autos are going to be Mike Trout and Shohei Otani autos. A lot of value right there. There's also three short print insert chases that include Mike Trout, Shohei Otani, and Brandon Marsh with the Youth Invasion insert. You've got Brandon Marsh as a rookie card in the base set. So I think overall, the Angels, a very nice team, going to be pretty expensive in a pick your team break. But if you can get one of those Trout or Shohei autos, you're going to be doing pretty well. Another team that you would keep in a random team break. I don't think you're going to be able to trade for them, but if you can make a trade, go ahead and do it. I just think it's going to be pretty difficult. Now for some sleepers. I'm going to start with the Toronto Blue Jays. They've got eight base cards, one rookie card, five inserts, and four autos. I like the Toronto Blue Jays because there's three different Vladimir Guerrero Jr. autos in the auto checklist. On top of that, you also have three short print insert chases that include two more Vlads and a Beau Bichette. I don't think the Blue Jays are going to be that expensive of a team. They might be middle of the road, and they're going to be a great trade target if you don't get them in a random team break. So don't be afraid to pony up in a pick your team break if you can get it at the right price for the Blue Jays. They've got plenty of content in here. Overall, I think it's going to be a pretty good sleeper team if you can get them at the right price. My next sleeper going to be the Boston Red Sox. They've got seven base cards, two rookie cards, four inserts, and four autos. I picked them because I like the auto checklist. You've got Jaron Duran as a rookie auto. You've got David Ortiz, Xander Bogarts, and J.D. Martinez. One of them's already a Hall of Famer. 
Bogarts on track for a Hall of Fame career. J.D. Martinez may be on the fringe, but definitely loved in Boston. And you've got two short print insert chases. You've got the Xander Bogarts and the Jaron Durand. The Red Sox, definitely going to be a middle-of-the-road team, but they've got plenty of content. So in a pick-your-team break, get them at the right price. You'll probably find a decent return on your value. Again, another great trade target for a random team break. If you don't get them, try and trade for them because I think you've got a pretty good shot at getting something nice with the Boston Red Sox. So don't sleep on the Red Sox. Don't sleep on the Blue Jays. Comment below. Let me know what you think are the good teams for a case break or for a single box break for a pick your team break or a random team break. I love to respond to the comments. So let me know which ones you are chasing here for 2022 Cosmic Chrome. Now, if you want to know how good all of the teams are, well, I'm going to give you a break team cheat sheet. And here's how this works. I'm going to tear out all the teams into three different tiers. The top tier is going to be the best teams that I think are going to deliver pretty consistent value in any break you buy into. Then you've got the second tier, which the teams have enough content that you might hit something nice, but they're not going to be great every time you buy into a break. And then there's the bottom tier, which are the teams, frankly, I would recommend to steer clear of in a break. So let's start with the top tier. Obviously, Tampa Bay I have as my best team. You've got Seattle with the Julio Rodriguez chase. The Yankees have some Aaron Judge autos and a ton of content in here. Obviously, with Detroit, you've got Spencer Torkelson. The White Sox surprisingly have a lot of nice content. Think Jose Abreu autos and stuff like that. You've got the Cardinals. They've got their six autos in here. And a little bit of a surprise, you've got the San Diego Padres. If you like Fernando Tatis and Manny Machado, they've got a lot of auto content in here. And they've got a surprisingly a lot of content overall. For my second tier, I've got the Twins in here because they've got four different autos. Royce Lewis has an auto that you can get in here. A little bit of a surprise with the Guardians. The Guardians have a lot of rookie content in here. We've got the Blue Jays in here. They're one of my sleepers. If you like Vlad, you definitely want to be looking at the Blue Jays. You've got the Nationals in here. They've got a lot of Juan Soto content, but not much out of that. But Juan Soto obviously going to hold some value. And the Houston Astros have a lot of content as well. So don't sleep on the Houston Astros. Now for my bottom tier, the teams that I would recommend to steer clear of. Probably the biggest surprise down here going to be the Pittsburgh Pirates. Yes, they have O'Neill Cruz and O'Neill Cruz does have an auto. But outside of that, there is almost nothing that you're going to get with the Pirates. So be careful and weary about overpaying for the Pirates. Some teams definitely to steer clear of going to be the A's. They only have one card in the entire checklist and the Orioles only have two cards. So definitely steer clear of them. The Giants, not a lot of content there either. And kind of some usual suspects down here with Texas and the Marlins. The Cubs, a little bit of a surprise down here. Yes, there's a Seiya Suzuki rookie card, but there is no auto and there's not a lot of content outside of that. So be wary of the Cubs as well. So that's what brings us to our one cent sensational set rating. Now, what is that? Well, first, like I mentioned earlier, it is the most in-depth analysis of 2022 Topps Cosmic Chrome you're going to find anywhere on the internet. What I do is I break the set down into 10 different categories and each category is worth one to 10 points. After I've showed you all the categories and all the points, we add up all those points and that's what gives us our final one cent sensational set ranking score using the scale that you see below. Then what I'll do is I'll compare the 2022 Topps Chrome set to prior sets. Oh, wait, we can't do that because this is its inaugural year. But what we will do is we'll compare it to all of the other sets that have been released in the 2022 card collecting season to see where it stacks up amongst all of the other sets that have been released so far this year. So let's jump right into it. Here's our 10 categories. First is going to be appeal. Now it's a brand new set and some people are saying, well, this waters down the tops Chrome set. But I also believe that this is a pretty not to use the pun intentionally, but far out there set and it is a Chromium set, which people are suckers for. So overall, I think because we got some big rookies in here that we can chase, I'm going to say for appeal, we go 6.5. 
for the base set checklist. We've got most of the big rookies from 2022, but we are missing some as well. Spencer Strider, Josh Lowe, there's a couple other names in there. So I'm going to go ahead and give it an eight. For the auto checklist, again, we're missing some of the big rookies that we would have liked to have seen. The auto checklist is pretty tight, though, and a lot of the names on there are pretty good. A lot of superstars, a lot of the bigger rookies that you'd be looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7.5. For the inserts and the parallel stuff like that, I'm going to give it an eight. The inserts, I think, are the strongest part of the set. They've got the two chases and the youth invasion and the supernova, super short print, kind of a panini vibe of how that's working there. And I think that they've got some very bold designs in a lot of these inserts and the parallels are going to look fantastic. So I go ahead and give it an eight. Another thing I really like about 2022 Topps Cosmic Chrome is the production run is going to be vastly smaller than that of the flagship Chrome set that was released a couple months ago. Because of that, I'm giving the production run and the pack odds a 6.5. I think you're going to find that you hit a lot of nice cards fairly regularly in this set. For the card quality, it's another chromium stock. Very nice quality card. They look fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and give it an eight. And for historical value, very hard to judge here. It's a brand new set. I think you would bump it up because it's chromium. My worry is that if this set doesn't stick with collectors long term, that it'll be a set that gets kind of forgot about in a couple years. So you're running a a little bit of risk there. So I'm just going to say, hey, let's keep it even and call it a five. For our cost value, that is how much return are you getting out of a box? I'm a little discouraged by the $250 buy-in and there not being a guaranteed auto. Kind of a top's finest flashbacks vibe to this set. And I don't think you're going to find that every box returns 75 to 80% of the value. Some of them might return substantially more though. But I do think if this set was to fall below $200, which it might here in the coming weeks and months, that this cost value of four that I have at it right now might bump up to a five or a six. But for now, I'm going to keep it at a four. For the artistic value, I love that Topps is pushing the envelope in making some cards that I think appeal to younger collectors and newer collectors that have entered in the, into the hobby in the last couple of years. Very bold designs. They've got a nice cosmic theme around it, that galactic theme. And I think the inserts are going to be awesome. The parallels are going to look awesome. So I give it an 8.5. Then we go to collectability, which is where we take value and monetary gains all out of it and just say, how fun is this stuff going to be to collect? I think some of the cards are going to look really cool and are going to make great additions to PCs. I think some of the inserts to collect some of those sets are going to be really fun. So overall, I think it's going to be a fun set to collect, especially for newer collectors and people that like Chromium. I don't think that set collectors are going to be too interested in this one, but I do think auto collectors and probably some investors will like this set as well. So overall, from a collectability standpoint, I'm going to give it a seven. So that's what brings us to the sensational set rating. We're going to add up all these points. And for 2022, Cosmic Chrome comes in at a 69 on the sensational set rating scale. So a very good set. There's some positives here in that we have a lower production run, which has been uncommon in 2022. We have some very bold designs. If you are lucky and hit one of these autos or one of the super short prints, they're going to hold some value. As far as the checklist goes, we've got a couple names missing, but it's pretty tight along with the auto checklist. So overall, I think it's a very nice set, a very good set, not sensational, but there's a lot to offer here. I do believe that this does water down some of the flagship set. So for those people that are saying that, I think there's some validity to that. And my worry on Cosmic Chrome is that over time, Is this a set that gets forgot about or is this a set that sticks? I'm not really sure. We'll have to see where that goes in the future. But keep in mind that as production runs have been up in 2022, 
They're starting to come back down, and this set does have a low production run compared to a lot of the Chrome sets that have come out in 2022. So I think for that, you've got a pretty nice set. And so for that, we give it a 69. How does it compare to all of the major sets that have been released so far in the 2022 card collecting season? Well, it comes in fifth overall, just beating out Panini Immaculate for that fifth spot out of 31 major sets that have been released so far in the card collecting season. Bowman Baseball still comfortably leading the way with a 78, and we only have that Panini Immaculate set for Panini rep representation in the top 10. Top Series 1, Panini Chronicles, trying to hold on to that top 10 spot, and you can kind of see some sets really bubbling up here. Tops Update, very good. Tops Museum, very good. And kind of a surprise in 2022, a lot of the higher-end sets tend to be scoring a little bit higher, and a lot of the sets that have been released later in the season because of the rookies that have been introduced are bubbling up to the top. We do not have a sensational set so far this year, but we still got a few sets left in the season, so we'll have to see how that pans out. So let me know in the comments below. If you are getting into Cosmic Chrome, be sure to throw over to First, hit that like button for me, subscribe, hit the bell notification, do the things you know you should be doing. And I want to say thank you for watching this set review. As always, as you're out there in the wild, I hope that you have great luck when you open up Cosmic Chrome Packs and be good to your family, be good to your friends, be good to your neighbors. Most importantly, take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. We'll do another set review again soon. Take care.